Once again, everyone is hard at work except for me. You wonder what we're doing out here? We, me and this guy, are watching these gentlemen do some work. My dog also has one of these pizzas. Probably looks to me in about the same condition. She doesn't love it. You broke it. <laughs> Brilliant. So much ingenuity in window removal. I'd be a flight risk on a real job site. Hey, Chris here, your favorite Calgary home inspector, or at least Eco Lines. We're back again with another crew on a new project, new home. So we're gonna see how things go here. We're down in Middenport today. And yeah, excited to see yet another installation. Just did a first pass around the building here. So just looking at the existing windows that are installed. You can see this one, this metal casing is coming off of the old wood sill here. What would be nice with the new installation is that that wood still won't be there anymore. This entire unit will come out and be replaced with one solid piece of new Ecoline window. So yeah, something going on with that upper floor window as well. You can see it's coming out of frame. We'll have to pop upstairs and see what the actual situation is with that one. So there's a good amount of uneven wear on this window specifically compared to the ones around the corner here. Probably just having the sun beating down on this all the time over the years has started to deteriorate the surround of that window. Try not to fall. <laughs> it's uh, very unstable, but this is what you got to do. You got to make sacrifices to uh, do a good job, you know? Mm, no, oh. not to you. No, not no. sacrificing me? No. In the basement here, it looks like this is probably an original window, fully metal and yeah, just a couple single pane pieces of glass it looks like there so that'll be a nice one to have fully replaced we talked to the homeowners about why they made the decision to replace these windows what it comes down to is that they went through the greener homes program they did an energy assessment and they had their heating system and their windows assessed as opportunities to improve the thermal performance of their home so they already went ahead with an upgraded furnace. They added a heat pump. So they have a nice two-stage heating system in the home now. Next step is these triple pane energy efficient windows that they're looking to put in to maximize that efficiency and make the most of that interest-free Greener Homes grant that they're pursuing. If we watch these guys work through the demo here, it looks nothing like HGTV. Neither of them have a sledgehammer. They're not banging out windows, breaking things down. Uh, a very careful and meticulous removal of the casings, the frame, making sure not to damage anything. We want to minimize the amount of work and limit it to just window replacement as much as possible. Once again, everyone is hard at work except for me. We have the homeowner here removing blinds in the window. These guys up on a ladder in the second floor there working. And you and me just watching. Are you enjoying the process? Oh, I always enjoy the process. So that window that they're currently removing is a nail fin style window where it has the flange around the whole window and then nail through those holes to mount it um, into the frame that way. Whereas what we're typically seeing on these replacements with the brick molding is that we're screwing through the sides of the window on the interior to hit the jams there to fasten it. So a uh, little bit of a different style that these are being replaced with. And yeah, that's the nail fin ones that we haven't been seeing so much. My dog also has one of these pizzas. But probably looks to me in about the same condition. She doesn't love it as much as I thought she would. Are you hungry? You wanna eat it? Um, not that one, not that one. You wonder what we're doing out here? We, me and this guy, are watching these gentlemen do some work. They're gonna take out that window and put a brand new one in. But we gotta watch out because they're throwing shrapnel down. 
wouldn't be the first time we've been hit by shrapnel. <laughs> With the best of everything, huh? We can see here he's using an excellent technique on that old window screen. We crunch it up and then use it at a, as a carrying case to get rid of all of these casings. Good little life hack. Ooh. Yeah. <clears throat> that's fully separated there. Do not have a good caulking seam. So that's going to be a potential spot that water can just get in with a large wall face like this and like no eave or canopy covering it. Just going to get a lot of water that hits, can run down and potentially get in behind the window here. We'll see. We'll see. Do you want to help them? Yeah, we'll see if he needs a second set of hands here. I've been working on my strength since last time. Mm. Those patio door screens. Yeah. Not anymore. I'm stronger now. You lost that. <laughs> I did that. Are you happy with that? <clears throat> I'm beaming. Yeah. I'm very pleased with myself. Ah, real work done for the day. Do you want to take a ride on this? <laughs> I think it'll collapse right there. Look at the structural integrity of this. I don't trust that with me on it. You broke it. <laughs> <clears throat> How dare you? I know. That whole casing just pops right off. And look, we got a full wood casing behind. As you can see, you're getting a little bit of water in on this one. I don't know what orientation this was in, but yeah, a little bit of water staining on the frame. And then you can see just like old hinge hardware as well. So definitely worthwhile to start replacing those. It's brilliant. So much ingenuity in window removal. It's not the best workout for you, you know? Not now. Not now that I've become so strong. Go. All right, we just got a special delivery, fresh of the laundry. New Equaline t-shirts. Everyone's branded now and we're ready to get back to shooting. So our quest for fresh laundry means that we kind of missed the removal of this window. But what we can see here is that this actually had some low expansion spray foam in place already around the frame, where previously we've seen a lot of that filled with just bat insulation. So he's in the process now of cleaning that all up, make sure we have a nice, new-ish frame to set the new window on, and then we'll reapply it all at the end. Did it. So look, this is that window we were looking at downstairs. That's <laughs> the whole exterior casing is just completely separated from this window. Uh, this is starting to come apart in here. Yeah, in here, the wood frame has just rotted out. So where this screw was holding this to the frame, that screw hole is completely gone. It's just blown right open. So that's got nothing to hold on to now. Let's see, let's crank that out a bit more. A lot of separation. So that is the window that we will be looking to replace. but not actually. <laughs> uh. Oh, I actually use my new strength. It's just confirming this is in fact wood, right? Sounds like wood, hits like wood, reverb sounds like wood. No, he's actually making sure all of the fasteners in the jam and the sill are fully pushed down so that they're not going to interfere when we come and try to put the window in. All right, we're just putting the 3M flashing membrane on. You will have seen this if you've been following the series. You should be. 
So this is gonna be last step here before we pop the window on. This is gonna seal up the jam and the frame. Make sure that it, any water does get in, it's not gonna sit here and rot on this frame. With the water staining we can see that's here from before. It'll help prevent that. Let's get out of this guy's way. Let me help it out. Yeah, just closing the window, big help. It's, it's up there in terms of things that I've done to help, so. <laughs> We have our first window up now. Just got the gentleman getting it in place, uh, shimming it, getting it level, and then we will fasten it to the frame and insulate, throw the casing on. We'll have our first window of the day fully complete. Just finished making some adjustments to the hardware. We're gonna make sure that this window is in perfect alignment, will properly seal. Looks like you got it. We just popped outside. These guys have us running in and out of the building right now, but we need him to do the silicone on the exterior first, because right now there's a solid gap from the interior to exterior at the sill. So if he doesn't put that silicone in across the base, then when we go to put the spray foam in, it won't have anything to back against and it'll just seep through. And we don't want to see any of that spray foam on this side because that'll be an ugly finishing detail. So this makes it nice and clean that we do the silicone, have something for the insulation to back against and we can fill that cavity in properly. Don't touch the leather. <laughs> you, just, you see it right through there. A little bit of daylight, but that is the silicone now. Where before that was just a, a clear gap through the exterior. And then we're getting full exterior to interior coverage here. With the spray foam. Looking good. This is the mark of a professional. They don't teach you this in school. This is pure experience. Knowing that you can leverage a vacuum on one foot at some times to balance and complete your install. So in this case, these homeowners have elected to go with real wood casings as opposed to the plastic ones that clip on the window frame that we've seen at the last couple installations that have the corner capping. So we actually had to measure and now make cuts so that he can fit out that window on site here. All right, we have the finished window here. You see that this one has the wood casing. So done that all around. That's been nailed on now. Looks very similar to the aesthetic that was in the home previously and will be throughout the home once all the windows are complete. Just a couple finishing touches to do on the nail heads, corners, and popping in the caps here on the frame. And then that is a complete window installation done. There we go. Nice and smooth. As we saw, he was working on adjustments to make sure that this hardware make, pulls the window in in proper alignment so that we get it nice and snug. And then when we relock it, pulls that window in tight and there's no gaps around any of the frame. Do you want to try? Uh, no, this is one of those artistic things. Oh, it's... You can tell. This gentleman's been outside all day and he got called in especially to do the finishing touches on the wood filler here, so. And, okay. <laughs> well, yeah, good call. Safety first. I'd be a flight risk on a real job site. I wasn't expecting to get to do that today. Did you enjoy the moment? Everybody enjoys demo. <laughs> that. I am a big help today. I would say you're a big mess today. 
it was the gloves though. These gave me that extra little 10% power boost that I needed. A couple little stat points. Always gotta up your gear. Chris here with the Calgary Home Inspector Corp. We just finished reviewing the installation on this project here for Eagle Line Windows. Another successful install. This time I got to get my hands a little dirty. Uh, in this case, the homeowners were pursuing a greener homes program. So they were looking to upgrade from their double pane windows to triple pane high efficiency. So that works in progress. This house is gonna get a bit of a facelift. It had black window casings or frames around the whole thing. So we can see they've opted for the white option in this case. So it'll have a brand new look once it's done. Um, but if you were looking to replace them with black, Ecoline does that as well as any other color. So just something to keep in mind when you're looking for a window replacement company.